Hello there everyone, you've tuned in UXW Bill and I'll open up this video by apologizing for the absolutely abysmal lighting conditions. These are unfortunately the best that I can do because this is the only time of day that I can actually be here. I'm taking you along for a final look at a Sears store we visited about two months ago. It's now in its final four days of operation before it closes forever and unfortunately although Sears is trying to reorganize through their bankruptcy proceedings, I believe that this will just be the tip of the iceberg, that eventually all the Sears and probably the Kmart stores as well will end up closing and the company will be liquidated. I'd been to this store just a couple days prior to see if there were any bargains. Almost everything that I was interested in happened to be gone and the place is looking pretty sad inside as you'll soon find out. So let's venture inside and see what's going on. Evidently they are throwing lots and lots of stuff away. I haven't gotten any nearer than you see to these dumpsters. I don't intend to, so I have no idea what's in there. But from what I can see, it looks like they may have thrown out some store fixtures. You'll also see that when we get inside, that a number of things like the backing walls for shelving and stuff like that have just been ripped down without really any regard whatsoever to what condition the underlying building is in. But I would imagine that the maintenance people and everybody else that works here just don't care anymore, which is a sad commentary. <laughs> but, you know, they're all going to be out of jobs, and I don't know if they can hope for any severance or not. It's a pretty sad deal. About the only good thing to come of it is that people are actually shopping at, well, I thought this video was about Sears. Apparently we're visiting ears. <laughs> it must be an inferior knockoff of the store. So we're going to go in and take a look here. Almost everything is gone in parts of it, and yet a lot of it is left in other places.
woods in here were unbelievable the other day. I have my doubts that they're going to get this store emptied out, to be honest with you. They'll probably just ship the merchandise off to other places, though. thing I am amazed to report. I don't know why they waited until the place was about to close, but it's only been in these last few weeks of operation that they actually fixed the in-store music. Before that, it was the ground loop hum symphony. Some sort of a repetitive ticking noise, too. Remember all that bedding from the first video? That's where it was. It's not there now. I'm being watched. I wonder if anybody will even care enough to say anything to me. Even if they are paying attention, which I've got to admit I rather doubt at this point. You'll notice I'm being a good bit more brazen with this. Be tempted to buy that and those two for no very good reason at all maybe if this was in a little better shape
I suppose this was probably the photo studio. Certainly looks like it could have been. Man, there's nobody here. Not even employees. Certainly a good bit different from other store closings I've recorded recently. Bergner's was just crawling with people. Plain clothes, security people, loss prevention I presume. Nothing like that here. They probably can't afford it. This might have been. Maybe the service desk for the auto center. From the music, at least, you'd think it was business as usual. Are you watching me? Because I'm watching you. <laughs> I've been surprised at the pricing on these fixtures compared to the other stores I've been in. A lot of them I haven't recorded any video, but they've wanted a lot of money for this stuff. And they don't hear.
idea how to turn the lights on in here. <laughs> That's for sale. Man, you know it's bad when even the Christmas stuff isn't moving. A nod back to what used to be. What could still be if maybe they played their cards a little differently. folks that is well and truly all she wrote at least for this one thank you as always for watching meanwhile the world outside keeps right on going on like it always has and as always i'm interested in hearing your constructive commentary